human rights activist and senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falono, has accused Kingsley Morgalu, the presidential candidate of Young Progressive Party, YPP, during the 2019 presidential election of taking up an appointment from President Muhammad Buhari's led administration after discarding his political party, YPP. Falono made this accusation at 2019 Collaboration Symposium. A segment of the annual festival in honor of iconic legend Fela Anikulakpo Kuti, which held at the Neka House, Lagos. Our correspondent, Nimi Adekombi, has details on this. Today marked the beginning of the Alluring Music Festival dedicated to honoring the Nigerian music legend Fela Anikulakpo Kuti. The event kicked off on Monday with a symposium facilitated by speakers like Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, a celebrated Nigerian author, Aki Oyegbode a professor of international law and jurisprudence, Bobby Wine, Ugandan singer and activist, and Akala, a Jamaican-born rapper. The event was moderated by Sefi Atta, who explained the meaning of the song, Teacher, Don't Teach Me Nonsense. So let's talk about the topic in question, Teacher, Don't Teach Me Nonsense. The first time I heard the song was on television in England. I can't remember the year but it was a broadcast of the video of Fela in Egypt 80 at the Glastonbury Festival of 1984. But in the video, Fela says his song is an explanation, in his own words, of why Africa is low. He rails against European countries which impose their systems of, of government on Africa. The panelists also took turns to give their views about the impact of Fela's music and the messages. Ten years ago, I personally took a decision to change the genre of my music from entertainment to edutainment. We called it edutainment, one, because music was a very influential and effective mode of, of communication. But most importantly, we knew that that was the easiest way to send messages to those people that one did not get the rare opportunity of going to school. And even those that went to school, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how it is here, but back home and in many parts of Africa that I've gone to, education is not a very entertaining thing. And many young men and women are actually forced to learn the things they learn at school. Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie spoke about how important it is for Nigerians to know their history and advocated change in school curriculums. In this country, we need to know our history. You know, we need, we need to, we, uh, the curriculums that people are being taught, it's just, well, we're talking about teacher, don't teach me it's nonsense. nonsense. Complete nonsense. We, we need to remake our curriculums. Start, so if we, if we teach our children today, start teaching them civics and history. But we need to change the curriculum. You know, teach them civics in a way that they, they have a sense of self. They know that their past is not some dark thing. They know that despite the flaws that we have, every, every nation has flaws, right? But, but also every nation has greatness. And to think of our past as one that was worth taking pride in. Femi Falana and other attendees spoke about the impact of Fela's activism to his music. Everybody in Nigeria remembers Fela. When you're talking of the budget, when you are talking of oppression, when you are talking of injustice, and when you talk about the failure of people to rise up and challenge oppression. You remember fellas uh, STB? You know, that were too comfortable. We always get reasons not to fight. You don't want to die, but at the end of the day, people die recklessly on our roads, in our hospitals. And in their homes now. And what fella was saying is, why don't you die fighting? And fight for justice, fight for progress, and fight for democracy. Fella did it. He tried it. He tried as much as he could. He impacted, he imparted, he influenced, he initiated, and he motivated. That's why people like Femi can come out and continue with what he's doing. That's why people like, like who else again, the Shea Shola, but there are quite a number of uh, social musicians who are trying to make impact. Like Bobby Wine said, Fella's, Fella's music is a spirit, Fella himself is a spirit. And as long as that spirit continues to live on and we ensure it stays alive, I'm quoting Bobby Wine, there will be many more Fella's to come. And I think that's something that we all need to learn from.
While Fela's unique lifestyle and music would ever remain a reference point among his fans, the 2019 Fellaboration continues with more activities lined up to celebrate the music legend, popularly known as Abba Mirda. Nimi Adekombi, reporting for Plus TV Africa. <laughs> <laughs>